Good morning guys. So we are up and ready and dressed for the day. So we are going to head out of the room and try to find like a little shop to enjoy maybe some breakfast and then maybe lunch at a castle. Who knows? Join along as we enjoy this beautiful day in the vineyards. After your tasting, feel free to roam around the castle if you want to take your time, you know, and take pictures. Look Absolutely, at that's really so exciting. Absolutely. Everything imported, everything handmade. That's also a big thing about us. We wanted to um, help the savoir faire survive. So everything is handmade to respect the codes of medieval architecture. Painting, all the things like that. So he just took the monastery and started refurbishing it. So he took the furniture right here. Things that you can walk from that monastery. That's how we got the confessional, the bishop chair over there in the corner. Oh, there, there's the Gorge demeanor. Oh. That's a sweet. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's one we have at home. So what should you usually drink, guys, when it comes to wine? What's your taste in wine? Well, um, we like, uh, you know, white and red. Not What's the red? Not really sweet? Not, not really sweet, right. though. Um, any preferences uh, in the whites? Do you like something more like oaky, like a Chardonnay, or something more like crisp uh, as a stainless steel? I, I really like both. Um, okay. Yep. Um, I actually made a quartz uh, We also we make wine. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, That's yeah, right, in uh, Florida? In Florida, yeah. Florida. Nice. Nice. Yep, we do a Humber, you know. Yeah. And um, quartz Chimener, we had a it's really good. Nice. Um, So we are currently at the castle having a wine tasting. So this is our Gewürztraminer, nice German variety. We have notes of roses, white flowers, lychee, guava, passion fruit. It's a nice aromatic grape. I like Gewürztraminer with Asian Thai cuisine, spicy seafood, ceviche. Nice. Like to, you know, balance the touch of uh, sweetness slightly. Cheers, my love. I love you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Mr. Barilla. No, I don't want no drugs to be strong. The Vermentino, guys, is from Temecula. So it's, uh, yeah, Santa California. Uh, we have been buying grapes uh, from these growers since we opened the castle. Uh, we never succeed to actually purchase the vineyard because it doesn't <laughs> want to sell to us. So, uh, we would like to buy more, but nobody is actually really interested in planting more than Mentino. That's why it's always sold out. People love this style of wine, similar to a Sauvignon Blanc, but even more crisp and refreshing, less citrusy. So I love this uh, in summertime. I know in Orlando it gets really hot during the summer, right? So you need something refreshing and the Vermentino is beautiful with seafood fish, uh, grilled fish, sushi, I love it, or just a simple salad or caprese, white meat. It's nice for the summer. That's why I love it, okay? Thank I want you. your opinion about this vermentino. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's a really nice rosé. 
and uh, I like the minerality and the saltiness of this one. This is a, actually real rosé in the old world style. We do produce also like a more uh, Californian style rosé in an Italian version because it's made out of Sangiovese. It's called Gioia, but nothing to compare with this rosé for mm -hmm. sure. So, really interesting. I want your opinion. The, the cement and the, the concrete is neutral, so you cannot guess if you try, oh, that's this fermenting concrete. Right. But you can guess it from the minerality and the crispiness of this wine, okay? Thank you. It's kind of the second vintage of these wines. Present this wine, we send a sample to different wine critics. Okay, because uh, we did a completely different style Pinot Noir. This is coming from a small single vineyard in Anderson Valley as well, Mendocino County. And from the moment we send the sample, it's the highest rated Pinot we ever done so far. 94.1 okay. enthusiast for a Burgundy style Pinot. So it's not Napa Valley style, it's not Sonoma style, it's more like an old world style of Pinot Noir. Okay. Uh, it's aging 14 months in New French Oak. Mm. And uh, it's really fruity in the beginning with the spicy huh? aftertaste. Mm. This one you need uh, truffle cheeses, smoked salmon, mm. duck, uh, tagliatelle with mushroom, or a nice plate of charcuterie and cheeses, right? So you have a, this really unique pairing. I want to let you try. You're going to see, we start with something lighter, and then we work our way till the uh, most full body reds. That's actually what we are well known for. Do you like cabs usually, guys? Yes, like, uh, I make full body. Yeah. Nice. What kind of grape you grow in uh, Orlando? So we um, we actually buy the um, juice. Okay. So here you have all the different percentages of the grape. So if you okay. have old vintages, you can check and you're gonna see that everything is different. Even if small percentages, but that depends on the vintage because for La Castellana, we pick up the best selection of our grape. So that's mm. why, depending also in the vintage, which variety and which grape, they show up like at best, we use them for the super custom wine. So that's a winemaker choice. Look at the color here, we are like yes. the dark and deep color. Yes. And that is a beautiful vintage. I wanted just to let you know, guys, that for the weekend, we do like because it's uh, oaky, inky, so you have all this really unique flavor of uh, Cabernet style from your apple. Thank you so much. Look at that. 100% Pinot Noir, re-fermented in the bottle.
clear all the way up the top of the cab so well, that's what is so we're gonna do a, a picnic with a, a basket salad sandwich and a bottle of champagne out, out, out the window. Okay, thank you. Okay, I am headed up to Morrissey and we're in Sun Castle. It's very high up there. It's beautiful. There's a road there that goes up to like another part of the castle. Let's see how it Never would you ever think you'd be something like this.